Hey everyone, I'm here today to do a review of a wig for you on behalf of Wig Studio One. So Wig Studio One sent me the wig on my head so that I could have an opportunity to check her out and share her with you guys. So what I have on right now is Belle Tress Irish Coffee in the color Cappuccino with Cherry. So let me show you this first and then we'll move along. All right. So, Wig Studio One is an online retailer and I do periodic guest reviews for them and I've been doing that for a little while now and it's such a good opportunity for me to try some new styles so that I can share them with you guys. And they have a wonderful, not only online store, it's wigstudio1.com, but they also have a Facebook group and I'm such a fan of the Facebook group. It's called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. Fantastic group of ladies. They might even be over 10,000 members at this point. I'm not sure, but so many women sharing information and pictures and uh, answering questions about wigs. It's just a wonderful, wonderful wig sister community. So I really, really recommend it. And uh, it is the first Facebook group for wigs that I joined when I first started wearing wigs. So definitely has a special place in my heart. So check them out. All right, let's talk about Irish coffee. Initially, when I received Irish coffee, the very first thought I had was this is an Ignite doppelganger. So I am going to show you Ignite and you'll be able to see how they compare. There are differences, but they're real, real similar. So uh, fun, fun opportunity for me to show you that comparison. So before I go too far in talking about this wig, let me just show you Irish coffee from all sides. You can see she's got some layers back here. Super, super fun, trendy, uh, kind of somewhat of an A-line style and there's layers, but one of the great things about this piece is there's not a lot of permatease, which means it's really gonna be, um, uh, it's going to have a, a, a kind of a less poofy profile and it's also going to be maybe a little bit cooler because permatease can add a little bit of insulation which can make you feel hotter sometimes in a wig. So that's really fun. So let's talk about this color. I re or I'm sorry, uh, cappuccino with cherry. So let me just read to you a color description I found on this color. Um, it's a blend of cappuccino dark brown and deep Bolzano brown, <laughs> uh, highlighted with red mahogany and chocolate cherry. I struggle to see the chocolate cherry and the mahogany in this piece. It's pretty well blended. It's super dark. It's not black, but deep, rich, chocolatey. It's like the most rich, dark chocolate color you can think of. Just so, so pretty. I will get outside for you guys so you can see this color in outside light. I do have two ring lights on me in my bathroom here. So if you see a little glare, it's not a shiny wig. Uh, these are heat friendly fibers and heat friendly fibers are generally not shiny. It's just really hard when you've got super strong light on you to not have something look shiny. It wouldn't look this way without these super, super bright lights. So just keep that in mind. It's just so well blended. It's it's like doesn't have like bold red highlights. It's just really blended. If you think of if any of you have seen Chocolate Cherry by John Renault, I do have a review of that color out there. It's very highlighted with this like unbelievable fire red, this chocolate cherry, and that's not this wig. So, stick around for the outside. You'll be able to see it a little bit better in outside light with the color, but very, very pretty. For my wig sisters who love dark, dark brunette colors, um, bordering on maybe black, but not, not there, this is a really, really good choice for that. So let's talk then now about Beltress. I have a lot of experience with Beltress, which is interesting because I avoided Beltress wigs for a number of months because of these heat-friendly fibers. They can be sometimes um, difficult to work with, except in wigs 
this short or I would say kind of chin length and above. I have a number of straight bobs by Beltress and I love them. I absolutely love Beltress heat friendly fibers. The feel of them, um, I, I'm not as much of a fan of Raquel Welch heat friendly fibers. They, they do feel very different. So what that tells you is if you have tried uh, Raquel Welch heat friendly and you don't like them, don't write off Beltress because they feel very different. And I'm not a real fan of how the, the Raquel Welch heat friendly feel. If you absolutely love Raquel Welch heat friendly fibers, though, um, these are silkier and smoother and they don't feel, uh, Raquel Welch kind of feel like they have a coating on them to me. This does not feel that way. I just love these fibers. I, I just keep buying um, their bobs because I love them. And they do wear really, really well when they're at a length where they don't rub on your clothes. So keep that in mind. Um, this piece has a lace front and a mono part. And I'll show both of those to you. I will take the wig off. Let me tell you though, uh, two things. First of all, this mono part is very uh, densely not uh, threaded. Lots. Um, it's just dense. What that means is you can't really see the parting space very well. If you really want to be able to see parting space in a mono part wig, uh, you're probably going to have to pluck this one if you want to see it. Part of the reason is the fibers are so, so dark. And then part of the reason it's just pretty dense. So while it's there, you can't see it very well. I don't think it makes it look wiggy. I do think that it helps even having that mono part is helpful because of how it lays. So, uh, you know, it just, it makes it lay really nicely. So it does still give it realism. The second thing I want to tell you is Beltress uh, lace fronts are not the best lace fronts in my opinion. I have gotten lucky a, cu a couple of times with them where they look okay, but I've also seen them look extremely knotty. This one looks very knotty and part of it's the darkness of the fibers. Part of it is just how Be Beltress make their lace fronts. I'll show this to you. It's just not my favorite. And so um, you have a couple of options now. Again, it's, it's all personal preference. It's comfort level. Um, the way she lays, you can't see it. It still looks realistic, but you can't really see the knots because of how she lays. So if you aren't one to pull wigs off your face and clips, no problem. I wouldn't worry about it. This one also does have a little bit of a fringe that I keep sweeping away to the side. You can, um, you can actually really easily cut a little bang in this one if you want to, and that would solve that lace front problem as well. And, um, or if you wanted to play with makeup, and you really want to be able to pull the wig off your forehead and you're not really sure you're going to be able to, you know, kind of take those knots, you can always use a uh, foundation. Let me get closer so you can see it. Translucent powder, you know, all of those things. The other thing I will say is <laughs> people aren't that observant. So again, it's that whole, uh, you know, getting yourself uh, the perception and what you're used to and those kinds of things. Let me get this camera situated again. Uh, it's, it's, I'm just giving you the information. You do with it what you will. We're all going to be a little bit different in how we feel about that. Something else about Beltress, their, their caps are generously sized. Um, a lot of people call them big head friendly and I agree. I think that they, you know, they do fit me, but they do, um, they're, you know, the coverage is really good because they're big on me. The ear tabs go way, way down. You can't see a lot of my bio hair with Beltress wigs, which you can typically see a lot more of my bio hair with other wigs. So I would say if you look at my measurements and you're bigger than I am, you probably can wear this. If you're a true large cap, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I would say that definitely big head friendly, definitely tons and tons of stretch and room in these caps. Um, another thing I like about Beltress caps is that they do have the nice, kind of the soft ear tabs. They have extended nape most of the time and, um, you know, with the Velcro, uh, not with the Velcro adjusters, but uh, they have the bra strap adjusters, which is not my favorite, but, it, you know, that's what they have. I do like those, the ear tabs and the extended nape, though. And then here's the lace front and the monofilament. Their lace fronts are just a little bit shiny. Um, again, with it with it not showing that much, it's not that big of a deal. 
Their fibers are just, I'm such a fan of the fibers. Let me quickly grab Ignite. Now this one's <laughs> the exact opposite spectrum in color, but just so that you can see the profile and, and how, how they might be similar or different. So some of the biggest differences between uh, Irish Coffee and Ignite Ignite doesn't have a lace. It uh, doesn't have a mono part. Ignite does have a lace front. What that means then is that you've got a lot more permatease on top when you don't have any of those monofilament features. Oftentimes they use permatease. So Ignite has a lot of permatease on top, whereas Irish Coffee really doesn't have permatease. And Ignite has a much shorter name. So I did write down the measurements just so that I could compare. So the nape on Ignite here is 1.5 inches. The nape on Irish Coffee is 3.5 inches. You get two more inches on the nape. Why is that important? Some people have a low hairline in the back. I am one of them. And when you get a nape below two inches, you risk showing your bio hair unless you shave it at this point right here. And so that's a huge consideration. I, you know, I would just take a look at, you know, do you have a low hairline? Because you might struggle with napes below two inches. And it, uh, Irish Coffee is going to fix that. Uh, Irish Coffee is also just longer overall. I'd say the measurements are generally longer. With this uh, Permatease, Ignite has a much more kind of rounded shape and much more beveling in the back where it's a lot more sort of stacked. Irish coffee doesn't really lay that way. So um, if you have Ignite and tried Ignite, and if you struggled with the length or the poof or the permatease, any of those things, but you loved the style overall, I would say Ignite, or I'm sorry, Irish coffee may be a good substitute. You know, Ignite's heat friendly as well. So there is that. I do, I like Beltrust fibers even better than the heat friendly on John Renault. I just love these fibers. So you're just not going to get as much poof. You've got more length, just in general more length. And then I want you to take a look at this nape. It's so much longer and so it's really going to give you good coverage in the back. Which is awesome. So overall, I mean, I think this is a super darling, darling piece. I definitely think for my weak sisters who can do heat friendly uh, and don't want a lot of permatease, don't want a lot of poof, this is a great, great style for that. And if you just want a little bit more length, you can definitely play with this one a lot. One of the things I really love about these kind of short styles is the flexibility in, you know, making them look really sleek. You can tuck her. You know, if you wanted to put some a uh, headband in, this one would be really cute, like a square band, and kind of pull some of it off and put a square band on. I just think you've got some styling flexibility on this, and you've got the coolness of a shorter wig and something that's not going to lay on your neck. So that's been. Um, kind of my take on Irish coffee. I'll get outside so that you can take a look at this one in outside lights. You can see just how much of that red pulls. It doesn't really pull real strong. So if you're kind of on the fence about those red colors, this might be a good one for you to try. Let me know if you guys have questions. Check out Wig Studio One and thank you guys for sending this to me and I'll talk to you soon. All right guys, here we go. Cappuccino with cherry outside. I'm getting so I have a full white background it's just subtle subtle cherry let's see if I can get closer very subtle but it's just really rich and deep and beautiful not super highlighted and I know that's gonna appeal to some of you guys a lot okay hopefully that was helpful to see this color All right, thanks so much for watching, you guys.